Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video about the One Piece card game. Today I am going to be talking about the three new OP06 leaders that have been revealed, as well as some of the support cards. I know we are on OP04 in the West, OP05 is barely out in Japan, but OP06 spoiler season has begun and I will be covering it. And let me tell you, these are all really, really exciting, but also really, really powerful. I'm starting with what looks to be a very polarizing leader in the English community and in the Japanese community as well in terms of its power level, and this is Yamato. So this is a green-yellow leader, Wano traded, double attack built-in, which honestly on its own would have been enough for this to be like a seriously like competitive leader. Uh, but then it also has an activate main once per turn. If your opponent has three or less life, attach up to two rested Don to one of your characters. This is exceedingly powerful. So the first thing to bear in mind is that we do have Wano Kuni support across both yellow and green. Green got it in the first couple sets of the game. I think it's had it in every set, but primarily in sets 1 and 2. And Yellow started getting it in, I believe, set 4. Uh, it also gets it in set 5, and it also has a starter deck that supports the Wano attribute in Yellow. So obviously we can expect further Wano support in set 6 uh, in these two colours. Um, so that's sort of green and yellow getting locked in for some Wano cards. But, I mean, this is extremely good. Um, firstly, you have Momonosuke to increase the consistency of all your Wano searches, and there's already some pretty good ones in Yellow. But on top of that, the pressure this leader has of just be having double attack built in. You know, you go first, turn two, you're just swinging 8k, double attack. Is your opponent going to, you know, have 4k in hand? Unlikely. Um, so unless they slam down a blocker turn one, which, you know, they're probably going to have to do, they're going to be taking hefty damage very early on, and then immediately your effect is live, and you're suddenly able to just sling dons around and do all sorts of nonsense. I mean, this is an exceptionally powerful effect. Uh, and let's also <laughs> talk about the fact that Secret Rare Yamato has spiked in price as a result of this card being shown, because that card from OP01 is definitely going to be extremely scary in the context of this deck. And uh, to be honest, I, I just I just think this is going to be really, really powerful. That being said, I don't think it's broken. I think a lot of people are talking about it like it's broken. I think it's, you know, like all other Rush decks early game, if you're unable to deal with it and it runs away with the game, it's going to win. But if you're able to stabilize against it, then you're fine, right? Like, ultimately, what is this going to do um, against, like, a couple blockers, you know? Uh, yes, however, I will say, like, this is also yellow-green, so you're going to have to deal with the fact that they have triggers, you're going to have to deal with the fact that they have ways to rest your characters, so it's not that easy, and it is going to be a really, really good deck, I think. But, yeah, definitely a really, really interesting one to begin with. Next, um, we have Vinsmoke Raju. So this is blue purple. So this is uh, going to be the Germa 66 colors. Uh, and that this says your turn once per turn when one of your Don cards on the field is returned to your Don deck, draw one card. Um, this is really good. <laughs> this is like really, really, really good. Um, so any deck that's sort of naturally doing Don minus effects, this is, um, is, is you're going to be able to use this as your leader. Um, so firstly, let's look at some cards that are insane with this, right? Like Queen, Absolutely ridiculous. Nine cost Kaido, incredible with this. Um, some very obvious ones. Uh, Magellan, amazing with this. Um, so there are some cards that are like already just seeing play in purple, like very constant consistently, um, that are insane. Um, there's no real restrictions on when this goes off. There's no like hand size restrictions or anything. So yeah, I, I think this has really, really strong potential to be very, very powerful. But we also got a couple of support cards revealed for this leader. Um, so firstly, we have Vinsmoke Yonji. So this is a 4-5 with a 1k counter. Vinsmoke Gemma 66. If you have less Don on your field than your opponent, this character gains 1k and blocker, and it has 1k counter. I think this is okay. Um, don't get me wrong, a 6k blocker is, like, very, very nice, but I am always just going to do stuff. I, I, I am literally always going to compare this to something like uh, Borsalino, and this is just not as good. Um obviously the the counterbalance is that um whilst this can be destroyed it can be removed um it can be 6k on your turn which means it can be a 7k swing which is obviously very very good um but again you need to be having you need to have less don than your opponent i do think um there is potential for cards like this to just find their way into a trafalgar law deck though because this seems like it'd be very very good in that context uh, then we've got Vinsmoke Raju, so this is a 4-5, also Vinsmoke Gemma 66, on play, if you have less Don on your field than your opponent, and you have 5 or less, li five or less cards in hand, draw 2, um, which is crazy. Um, being able to just draw 2 if you have <laughs> any negative Don is a little bit ridiculous, um, and you know, you can imagine 
uh, playing queen and then this from and going from like two cards in hand to what seven six um, plus like two, two two bodies on board which is obviously really 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 powerful um, I think uh, this is it's going to be interesting because we need to see the sort of ways that this deck can do Don minus um, in order to really make the most of these sorts of effects but I mean obviously this is intrinsically like quite good but um, it, it's just going to be a matter of how often can you actually get it online then we've got Vince Mogniji, so uh, this is a 5-6, um, which, as we know, is the best um, uh, uh, cost to stat ratio in the game, so odds are this is going to be quite good. Uh, on play, if you have less Don than your opponent, choose one of the following. K up to one of your opponent's characters that costs 2 or less, or bounce up to one of your opponent's characters that costs 4 or less. So this is interesting. Um, I think, you know, if you play this early game, the odds of you being able to get value out of it are quite high. Uh, and if you play this late game, I mean, this is going to be crazy. Uh, personally, I, I, the the leader that gets me the most excited for Niji is actually Zephyr, because the moment you start, um, you, you, you know, hit the Zephyr turn, and you do your first, like, uh, you know, you do your Kuzan swing leader minus four, um, this is going to be live, and this is suddenly going to be popping nine costs, right? Um Sorry, bouncing nine costs and popping seven costs, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I, I definitely think this is a card that Zephyr enthusiasts will want to be investigating. Uh, and as to how good it will be in the actual deck itself, again, we need to see uh, how consistently these sorts of Dom Miners effects are available. Uh, and then finally, uh, we have Vinsmoke Ichiji. So this is a 7-7, seven, seven, Vinsmoke German 66 on play. If you have less Don, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2k for this turn, and this character gains Rush. So this is definitely like a significantly worse version of Ace. Um, but it is in purple, and obviously having access to Rush is, like, really, really good. Um, this is much more generic than, um, than that, than Ace is. You can use this in any leader as long as you have that sort of less Don, um, restriction met. So I definitely think there is going to be, like, a lot of potential for this card. Um, you know, I, I also think, like, again, this seems like a card that would fit really well in red-green law. Um, sorry, in red-purple law. Um, just because you get to do the Don Minus, you get to play this, you do a power reduction, you get a rush, you can remove the card, slam out something else. I think there's some nice combos here. I definitely like, I, I, I'm looking at a lot of these cards, I'm going, these seem like they'd be really good in lore. Um, I don't know how good they'll necessarily be under Reiju, but Reiju does seem like a really, really good leader. This could be a classic, like, scenario where the leader's best with other support and the support cards are actually better than something else, which has happened before in the game. Uh, but all of these are definitely pretty good. And then finally, the latest reveal, um, which I'll try and sorry, go up here. Uh, we have the latest leader, which is Uta, and this is going to be red-purple. So we have our fourth red-purple leader. Um, so this is a 4-5, uh, film traded. And when attacking, you may trash one film-type card from your hand, give up to one of your opponent's characters minus 2k until the end of this turn, then add up to one Don from your Don deck as rested. I think this is incredibly good because this is going to give you insane pressure on your ability to just deal with board. Um, you are going to be playing, like, all your classic red removal stuff here, um, but uh, but you're also going to be very much abusing, like, all your film cards. Uh, <laughs> I do think it's really funny that we're going to be looking back to OP01 and, like, the Uta film red promo pack and, like, probably using stuff like that. We're going to be using the stuff from the film starter deck that obviously, like, hasn't seen play in a very long time. I think it's very interesting how they've managed to take these leaders a year into the game and completely recontextualize um, a lot of these cards that didn't see any play um, like in the, in the in the past um, and now basically make them see a ton of play um, which I think is I think is really really interesting um, but overall my rankings of the leaders um, I definitely think uh, Reiju looks the most like my kind of play style that sort of control long game Yamato it looks the most obviously powerful and Uta has the most unknown potential because I think, you know, there's a lot of good film cards in purple. There's some there's some pretty good ones in red, but we do need to see um, what comes there. I think it's very good. It's very interesting, but it's also very good that um, this isn't green because I think having access to, um, like, if, th if this was, like, green purple, I, I can't even begin to think of how insane that would have been. Um, so it, it's good that this is sort of distributing the the film stuff uh, around and not having this completely homogenous deck which i think is quite nice but anyway that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys found it useful if you did please do like the video subscribe to the channel for more one piece card game content um there's going to be plenty coming and i'm very excited to talk about lots of to do lots of deck profiles talk about um, all these upcoming spoilers uh, if you're interested in deck guides and all that sort of stuff you can check out my patreon linked in the description it costs a fiver a month and i really appreciate the support um, as you can probably tell, I'm quite sick at the moment, so there hasn't been a much, much going on there. Um, but yeah.
that's that's it for this one thanks so much for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next one cheers